All right, here's a video of the 81 K5 Blazer. It's for sale on Craigslist in uh, Balsam Spa slash Rock City Falls. This is out in uh, Rock City Falls right now. It's at my uncle's house. But size comparison between the 2006 Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution, lower two inches, and the 81 Blazer. I'll slip the hood for you real quick. It's not close fully, but so you can get the picture of the height of the truck compared to the car. You know, it's very, it's not very tall, it's pretty decent. I'm six foot three and standing next to the truck, the actual hood is right about chest height. So it's pretty good size. But I mean, 81 has the marker lights in the bumper, brush guard on it with lights. Right. Pop the hood back up here. It's got the built 350. It's board 30 over, flat top pistons, uh, headers. The headers go to 90 degree turnouts. Comes down here. I don't know if you can really see it, but it turns out to glass packs with turn downs out on the offsides. So it's basically off the headers. There's two 90s that bring it out to the rockers. But here's a video of the rockers. Yeah, pretty decent, especially for being in New York. Like I said, it's come from California before this, and then from California to North Carolina, so there's still paint on the frame. The fender wells are all solid. You know, molding's good on this side. On the other side, it got a little messed up from the bigger tires I had on it. I'll show you that. You can see, I had one of the tires grab the nub on the outside of this and it kind of folded this up but other than that it's pretty good it does have the holes in the doors that were plugged from the california wing windows the mirrors are stuck way out so i put the regular mirrors back on they do have the little bubbler spider webs on them but and it's pretty good body's in good shape back bumper's in good shape you know, no rust at the hinges so that all works still See, there's no rust there. Rear window's in good shape. It's got the trailer hitch on it. Used to have a different plug in there. I took it out, left the bracket for it. <coughs> Tires are good years. They're Wrangler. They're off of a uh, older Humvees. They're military specs. I don't know if you can really see it. It says military OZ right on the side of it. 36, 12, 5, 16, 5. If you actually measure from center of tire to the ground, it's over that. It's like 37, 37 and a half. So they're a little bit bigger than what they say. Interior, I mean, there's end caps are missing, but other than that, everything's in good shape. Door panels are in good shape. Still got the pockets, power windows, power locks. Tweeters are still there. Wing windows are still all functional. All the locks and everything work. We'll hop up inside. Got good inside. I mean, typical carpet stains and everything, but solid. Floors inside and out. The dash is decent for the year. It's got one crack up here and one here where the CB radio used to be. You can see the holes right there for it. Other than that, fairly decent inside. There's the rear seat. The front and rear seats all have had seat covers on them since the day I bought it. So let's fire this thing up. I have it locked in four wheel drive because like I said before, the rear gears are out of it so there is no rear differential anything inside so I can move it with the front wheel drive locked in start it up starts right up first turn of the key holds good voltage on the battery good oil oil pressure is nice temperature down there it's got half a tank of gas in it Here at idle, do a little throttle response as requested. As you can see. Every now and then you'll get a little belt squeal when I put the motor in. 
Uh, the guy painted it for me and ended up painting over some of the pulleys. So you'll hear the pulley squeal. But other than that, she runs great. Brand new battery as of uh, last week. It does come with some extra pieces, comes with a different air cleaner setup and a uh, timing chain cover that's also like the valve covers. It says Chevrolet right across it with red. And then it also comes with, we'll walk down this driveway here. It comes with a bunch of spare parts for lift. So the grass is a little high, we got a mow out here. But it comes with these leaf packs. This is a six inch leaf pack. These ones are fours. And you can see the blocks up there. You can add those and these together. Those are three inch blocks, almost four inch blocks. So if you add these together, you can get roughly 10 inches worth of lift with these rear packs here and the blocks together. It does come with all new bushings. These ones are fairly new in this set of leaf packs. As you can see, those ones are bad. These ones are bad. We cut the cut everything off of these ones. They were in a different lifted truck that we had on 44s. So those ones come with it. Everything here comes with it. And then I also have a bunch of spare parts in the truck itself in the back. There's uh comes with actually full set of uh, front gears, 411 gears with an install kit. I'll show you those now. <clears throat> like I said, spare parts, distributor cap, wires, one side step. This is the bearing kit that was for the rear. As you can see, we started it. They sent us the wrong gears, so we no longer have that. Here's the bearing kit for the front. With gasket, everything is still sealed up, as you can see, you can't pull anything out, it's all sealed. It's like a vacuum sealed. And then these are the front gears, still in the box. You can see GM 12 bowl, 411s, from Motive gear. And then I also have, in the back, the old stuff here. Let me position everything right. I don't know if you can see back here. That box has old ring and pinion gears in it and some other spare parts. Uh, drive shaft is in the back. Some caps and everything for the uh, rear ring and pinion. And then also in the back, I don't know if you can see all the way back there, there's just boxes and boxes of parts that come with it. So there you go, it's a blazer for sale, found a video camera so we can actually do it, it's 8 minutes long, so I hope you enjoy this video, let me know what you think.